96, 97, 98, 99, 2001, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. My name's Braden Shu. I am 27 or 28 years of age, I can't remember. Um, and I really enjoy bass fishing. I feel my chances for this weekend could be up there. I've come off a really good finish here um, for the Bass Grand Final, which was last year. A uh, bit of a default win, but um, nonetheless, I'm gonna take it. It was a, um, that was the last tournament which was held here uh, for the ABT. Um, so I've, I've got confidence in this river. I've got sections that I really, really like to fish. Um, like I've got, I've got parts that I'm not confident in and then I've just got sections of the river that I'm just confident in going and, and throwing baits and catching fish there. Um, so I, in my mind, I'm, I am feeling confident, yes, but um, there's been a lot that's happened over the last two or three weeks since I've pre-fished. So I'm a little bit skeptical on what they're, what they're gonna be doing. Like there's this um, burning southerly at the moment that's just, it's just 20 knots, 20, 30 knots. Like pre-fish today was just, was just crazy. Um, but the water temperature I noticed has dropped too, like it was about 25, 26 uh, when I was up here three weeks ago, and now it's back down to those 21, 22s. So obviously that's gonna have a play in it as well. So um, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm, we'll just wait and see how I go. I, uh, I hope that I'm gonna be up there. Day number one practice, it's a Friday. Uh, just threw in downstream here, so we're going to uh, burn our way down the uh, down the river here. It's the uh, 2023 Australian Bass Open at the Clarence River. Let's try and make it happen. Let's gauge the mood. So it like to start off the, the campaign. It'll be a tough old weekend, Rich. There's weed up here. There it is. To start the campaign. A very loosely hooked Australian bass on the little jig spin. Little bait junkie jig head, 3.2 inch cut down minnow. Definitely not a not a donk, but he's a good looking little fish. He whacked it like he wanted it. Like I said something about his mama. It's comforting to know there's one bass up here. Hopefully I can get bit doing this. This is what I'm kind of praying for to tell you the truth. Yep. Flat fish on a jig. He ate that good too. It is blowing a, uh, an absolute gale right now, which is um, not super enjoyable, but we just went down and fished a reed line, um, got a little bit of confidence. I kind of had in the back of my head that you could catch them on reed lines, but I was trying to do some other stuff to try and get some bites, um, but kind of just came and proved that, that we can just get them on some reed lines. We just got, just got a fish then, got, missed another two, um, and that was fishing for about, 10 minutes or so maybe and probably 
100 metres of bank, 150 metres of bank. So I'm going to go and spot hop some other of my favourite little reed lines and see if I can replicate that. And then that's kind of a little bit of a solid plan. It's a bit of confidence there. And then I can go back to trying to find some other bigger fish, I guess. So it's, uh, it's shaping up to be a little bit of a rough one, I think. So, and not just the conditions. <laughs> so we'll just have to wait and see how we go. I'll, uh, yeah, start spot hopping now. Give it to me, I'm worth it. Oh, I'm worth it. Da, 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 da. He ate that little beetle spin quite nicely, only a dink, but starting to put a little bit together, I think. Just need to find the big ones. He'd only be maybe 32 fork if you're lucky, which is, don't get me wrong, a nice fish, but it's not gonna be what we need to win this thing. So uh, all in all, nice little fella. Good looking fish, look at that. Anyways, we're getting back. To be honest, every time I put a beetle spin in my hand, I'm catching a fish off every bank I go to, so. There we are, just, I just caught this beautiful little bass there. He's a bit kinked like he's been in the freezer. A nice little cover chatter. Finally, a different bite than a beetle spin. He's a nice one, 37 forker. Yeah, got him. Oh, they're just so small. That's practice done for the day. We just pulled out of the park here. We're at Brush Grove. Nice little ramp here. Um, off to the briefing. Not a bad day. I mean, we caught fish. Um, Nothing crazy, but it wasn't wasn't super bad either. So it's uh, it's a good start for tomorrow. Um, I'm just missing that quality, I guess, which is, um, you know, I don't want that for every single fish. I'd love that for every single fish in my bag, but you know, just one or two quality fish for the, each day would be really, really good on top of the fish that I caught today. So uh, it's a really good start. I'm, um, I'm feeling really good about it. So we can only just see how we go tomorrow and um, see what happens. Off to the briefing. Get some dinner, re-rig, then we're on. So this is the Rapala Bass Australian Open, 45 boats fishing for $22,500 in prize money. The Bass Australian Opens are a pretty unique event. It's boater only and it's you versus the fish. 100% payback, which means that all the money that goes in in entry fees gets turned into prize money. This weekend, $22,500 is up for grabs and that's $8,000 to first place. That is well worth fishing for. Boat's in, all the crew's in the water. We are at the 2023 Bass ABT Open at Grafton here on the Clarence River. Day one, take off. The boats are just scooting off now. I think we're boat number 32. 32, let's change that. Let's try and make that a lot better than that. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Number one, the wind is a little bit high. Tide's still running out, eh? I think this is the right idea to be fishing here, but I don't at the same time. Put that spike in the spin rod. One. He ate that like next to the bloody rod. 
Just a little fella. Just a little fella. Ooh, that's not really that smart, but anyways, <laughs> it worked. He's actually not that bad, to tell you the truth. <laughs> yeah, let's start the scoring. Oh, he's got one of them weird wacky tails on him just to start off. Here we go, number one to open the account there and a little spike here at that next to the boat. Just a little fella. Hopefully he will not be staying in the uh, in the bag. Number one, we'll get him back and get some more. Six, four, five, and that was a three, four, zero, mill dog millionaire. He ate it off that, there was a big lay down, I kicked it over. It's that first one then, that I just got then on the EX, EXDR spike. He, um, on the 360, on the Humminbird 360, I found, I found this bank, I fished this bank quite a few times. This is, this bank is the bank that got me my upgrade in the grand final, which I won. So, um, it looks, to the eye, looks like an absolutely nothing bank, but over the years, there's a, a lot of erosions happen and there's a lot of lay downs and, and stumps and stuff out of here. It's only in 10 foot, which is like primo. And um, I normally fish it with jigs, but I've never actually fished it a morning here. It's always like a on the way back spot or kind of I'll go there at the end of the day. And, um, but I thought I'd start here today and I just rolled the spike. I could feel a bit of timber, it was coming over. And then it was only kind of just next to the boat and he crunched it, so. Little fella, number one though, we've, we're, on the, we're on the board. You know, we could be sitting in the top 10 right now. <laughs> That's a brim. Was a brim. Actually, might just give up on this and burn down. Start fishing them reed lines. I don't know. I'm. Oh, I really. I'm just really not sure because I want to throw top water because I know that just big ones will come on top water, or like the bigger ones should come on top water. <laughs> Yet I like. Part of me wants to just play it safe and just get a bag. But then, like, it's obviously can't fish top water later that easily because of the wind. So I'm kind of not sure. Might pitch a jig in through this stuff. I've caught it like I've caught fish up right up in all of that on jigs and that. That's better. Fish on. Oh, he's not bad, eh? He's actually not bad at all. Hey, he's not too bad. He's a good one to have in the well. It's not a bad one at all to have in the well. Oof. Hey. I felt him bite, had a bit of slack, and then I just kind of. I don't. I don't strike super hard on stuff like that, but I kind of. You just sweep into it, and you can. Um, just to see if it's a bit of weed or something, because at least you, you just pull it off, or this time it's a bass. <laughs> 37 and a half. There it is, a beautiful lid on him. Submit. That's number two. He's a good looking fish, nice, healthy, like he's got a, starting to get a bit of thickness about him, but really nice fish. We'll get him back and I'll log it on the uh, bit of paper. That was a 375 mil. Little damage doer, stuff on a little beetle spin, three eighth of an ounce. Bait junkie jig head. Oh, yes. oh again. Oh.
I was just about to call that for a Oh no! No, that was a good fish then. I just about called that for a fish then too. That was a good fish, that one had a lot of weight to it. Try it with a little willow. Why not? It's definitely changed. Looks like rain's coming too, to be fair. Oh, again, I thought that was a bite just there. Yeah, they were like, do do do. That's a, I reckon he come off a lay down just then, tried to eat it off a lay down. Come on, Bassy, come on, come on, come on. Please, please, please. Either there's no fish down here, or I'm doing something wrong. There's one, just as I say that. I cannot lose this one now. He is, oh actually I can. <laughs> he is very small. But that's a bass, that's number three. Calm down for us now. A little fella, I really, really hope I can get onto a patch and get rid of this little bloke because I'm, as much as I like him for a bag filler, that's pretty much all he is. There's one. He's a bit feistier. Hopefully he's got a bit more size to him. He only just pinned him to another. Another bag filler, as we call them. Submitting. There is another little bag filler. We'll get him back. Ride him down. And that's how quick you can go from not having fish in a bag to having fish in a bag, even though they're little fellas. I'm happy that I got and that I'm getting a bag. And it can turn around that quickly, but really need to get them bigger ones. I just got to lock this thing in my hand and just fish it. Not get distracted by any other baits or any other spots. Just lock it in and just fish bank. Oh, I got a bite too. Oh, it's stuck over that other side. We caught a fair few, like through here yesterday. Good luck. Fight the good fight. <laughs> oh, get out of it. That was off the reed line then. He's a little dink, but. Baby number five, boy. Woo, bag. That's 3.2 inches of minnow down there. He is the smallest of the day. And look at him just playing good here. He's the best one out of that. <laughs> He's a cute looking fish. But, oh well, back she goes. That one ate it on the drop. Oh God, I thought I dropped him and he's only very small, but hopefully he's better than a 29 and a half. Upgrade number one, baby, of a 31 forked bass. He's a good looking little bass too. Nice healthy little battler. Look at the size of his little gob there as well. Anyways, off he goes. Progress. Things are happening in the legend today. <laughs> I haven't been getting bites on the drop, but he ate it on the drop as soon as it hit the water. So like I went to wind and it felt like it was just a bit of pressure, like, like you're drawing a bit of this reed to you. So that's why I always kind of that's why you'll probably see me doing a lot of that drawing. Again. Uh, he might be better. Oh, he is a bit better. Yeah, he is an upgrade. That's a better fish. They're the ones that we kind of want there. Did you get the eat? There we go. Woohoo! Yes! They're the ones that we want. 
that's a better fish. Come on. Wow! <laughs> right, uh, <laughs> let's see what she goes. I think, at a glance, I don't want to say 40, but probably 38 and a half to 39, let's say. Cool, there he is. A nice little 40, or oh, little, nice 40 centimeter bass there. Cool, I'm really happy with that. They're the ones that we, the ones that we really need. It's a nice fish. They're the ones that we need. That gets rid of a 30, I think it is. It's getting back. There he's gone. And there's no hanging on. <laughs> <laughs> That's it at the minute, bit of chicken scratch on some paper there, but that could be, that could be some money right there. Put a cracker on it. You know, an hour ago I was stressing, stressing really hard that I wasn't catching fish. I didn't have my bag, it was pretty tough, but you can just see there, the last, those two fish come within six minutes of each other. The last two fish that I caught before that, my bag for number three and four, both come within five or six minutes, so. If you catch one, you need to capitalise on that little area. There could be more active fish there. Yeah, I don't know, man. Just worked a really decent amount of bank there for um, no bites since that last big upgrade. So before we start heading back and fish, uh, fish a bank that we fished this morning, I'm at a spot, or a spot's just down here that I caught some the other week off. So I'm gonna quickly go there and just see if we can pull an upgrade and then I'm gonna shoot back and spend a bit of time on this other bank. But you always gotta have a chuck at them. Not feeling it, we'll... Um Duck back to that first bank we started on. I'm kind of hoping nobody's been there, so we'll go and try and go and try and get another upgrade off that. I think. that Dane Price and oh yes I got oh no just dropped him I don't know so maybe we there's one oh this could be a good one oh yeah he's a good one he's gonna upgrade that 31 that we need to get rid of oh get that out of your fin buddy what's going on there thank you oh he's not very well hooked at all Yeepers. What am I doing to it? Really doing it with the old butcher job here. Yeet. <laughs> That's another 40 maybe there. Yes! Yes! Let's get it, let's get it logged and out of here. I want to keep fishing. That's a 38 forker right there. That's a massive push up for me just there. That, that gets rid of a 30 and a half or a 30 I think it was. Oh, that is really good. I'm going to get rid of him. Might be able to have another couple minutes of casting here. Yes. A little bit of a read there. Two more casts and we've got to get out of here. It's 34 past and our checkout, oh, our check-ins at quarter two, so we'll be zooting back, put it that way. Alrighty, oh, let's peel off. Let's get out of here. That's day one done. We've got to get back to the ramp. We've got, we got about 10 minutes until check-in, so the old legend will be moving. Big Cam. From what you've learned today, are there any adjustments you think you can use to catch more bigger fish tomorrow? Yeah, there are. I think that last fish kind of told me something that like I've been cycling banks um, and banks that I fished yesterday. So probably what I found was that that last fish that I caught, you can see on my uh, on my hummingbird where it peeled off and then it was about 20 metres past that I caught that one. So I think tomorrow, fresh banks and just fish, fish, fish. Wing it, ending. Correct. <laughs> I 
It's day one done and dusted at the, uh, at the 2023 Australian Bass Open at the Clarence River here. So um, last I checked, I was sitting in fourth. There was still a couple of scores that needed to be finalised and stuff like that. Um, but all in all, not a bad day. We had a bit of a bit of a dry spell there for a couple of hours in the middle of the day. But um, luckily, that uh, that 38 fork had come through with us at the end there. Probably what was it? 132. So that's less than 15 minutes before um, check in. So I'm really grateful for that one. Uh, Tommy is having a ripper time as well. He had a good day. He's sitting in third as well. I think. 100 or 200 grams in front of me, so catchable, I would say. Um, all, it, all it takes is one one dud tomorrow and uh, and it might be on. So, uh, but all in all, really good. We're gonna get back now. I'm just tidying the boat up a little bit, gonna get back and re-rig some rods, take a lot of rods off the deck as well, which I'm really excited about. I haven't had a, a tournament for a very long time where I've just had two or three rods on the deck, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, but all in all, good day, and I'm excited to get back out tomorrow. Welcome anglers to day two of the Rapala Bass Australian Open. Fishing was a little tough yesterday. There will be some big moves in the field today. Day two of the Bass Australian Open at the Planets River here. The, uh, the field's in the water, I think. There's no more boats lining up. So uh, we're just about to take off here. Um, some boats are still picking up their observers and whatnot. I think we're probably 10 or 15 minutes out. So uh, let's see if we can go and make it happen. The wind and rain is holding off for the minute. The rain will not hold off and the wind will probably not hold off as well. So we'll be in for another rough, wet day, I reckon. So uh, let's get into it. Good luck, Tom Slater. Thank you. That was a nice, nice little run. We lost like three Ks. The legend just loves weight. Just loves it. Three up, crushing it, killing the game. It's so surprising how quick it still goes. It's not desirable, is it? Poor little jig spinner. You gotta do what you gotta do. The old, uh, the old faithful here. It's been very slow this morning. We've been fishing for like an hour, man. And none. Zip, zip, zero. Let's get a move on, eh? There's a couple of drains down this as well, I'm pretty sure. It's probably just catch flatties, to be honest. But I highly doubt anybody's fished this bank, so I'd be pretty confident to say that there's been no pressure on it. This one, flatty. Of course. Stop it. And the and I actually lock this thing in my hand instead of going between all these other baits and I just don't get bit. There's one. Flathead again. They're all good flatties too. All legal buggers. I actually thought that was it, just their name.
haven't even had a bite on like the first wind or second wind or anything. It's just been not happening. And uh, it's 8.35 and there's still no bass in the well. I honestly haven't really even had a bite, like a consistent bite yet at all, which is, which is a bit alarming. But um, no, it is what it is, I guess. We'll just keep on, keep on pumping bank. Put good fish around this ferry. I mean, have to get a bite on G. I thought that was it just then. He had that same, that reed had the same bite as a bass. This bank looks a bit nicer now. Man, I gotta catch fish, eh? Hey? <laughs> get him there. Rat, something, something that's the target species, please. This has to be the worst day's fishing I've ever had, I reckon. So another half hour, I guess. Takeoff's only just there, so it's only take like two, three minutes to get back. There's no point prolonging the inevitable. <laughs> I mean, crazy things have happened. Literally could just come across a, a little, uh, school of them that want to just get bit. <laughs> That's good to see. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Very poor performance on the legend today. I've never had a, um, a fishing day like that. I still had a good time. I just I'm a little bit kind of stunned with how many good casts I was on the on the reed lines, um, using the exact same baits, fishing the same banks to an extent, um, but also a lot of new bank as well. And I am just kind of, I'm in awe that I didn't get bit today. I literally had maybe a handful of bites that might have been bass. <laughs> so that's fishing. Um, go and lick the wounds, I guess. Might consider putting the legend up for sale, so if you're watching, hit me up. Um, yeah, obviously comes with all the rods and lures. <laughs> nah, but that's fishing. I mean, you can do what you can do. I gave it a good crack. I, I think I counted up to about 9,652 casts. So I nearly cracked that 10,000 casts. Um, but yeah, that's fishing. Oh, really? They're all on beetles. Oh. Really? Yep, but they're not today. I didn't throw a beetle skin all weekend. Today. These are the two that caught them. The two and a half inch uh, bait junkie and then the frog. Seven kilos and no. Well done, mate. Uh, in fifth place, uh, 10 out of 10 fish for 8.164 kilos, Joey Urquhart. In fourth place, uh, that is Chris. No. no, we'll do it. We'll do it quickly. There's about um, there is about 1.2 kilos in it. So Mick Johnson got second with 10 fish for 9.314 kilos, and winner Steve Morgan with 10 out of 10 for 10.518 kilos. Yeah. That's on. Come back. Yeah, yeah. Ended up in fifth place, pretty stoked. Took off in fifth this morning and uh, put the right ones in the boat and yeah, got a, got a bit of money to pay for the petrol for the weekend, so pretty stoked. That's a wrap for the 2023 Australian Bass Open here at the Clarence River. We're at Corcoran Park. The boat's all wrapped up, ready to go home. Uh, fun weekend-ish. Ish. We, Tommy and I, we uh, we choked pretty hard today. I choked very hard. Tommy moderately choked. That's my standard day two. Choke, <laughs> yeah. But um, right on par. Yeah. What did you get? Ninth, I think. It was. Ninth. Yeah. Dropped from second to ninth. Only three little ones today. Just didn't happen for me. Fish kind of changed it up in the morning. Thought I might be able to get a few, and got three. And 
came back up here where I caught the bag yesterday and the tide was different. It's too late, uh, too early, I should say. It needed more water in the system. So that's fish in the rivers. It's uh, very much tide dependent. Everyone that caught them kind of said the same thing, tide times, bite times. So mm. lesson learnt. We'll try again uh, next year. That's the wrap for the 2023 Bass Australian Open. Thanks for watching. Rock on. Off the roof. Let's go. Mackers.